sell yourself short. I remember. So like, I remember one of the first times I met you was actually through my wife. So you had, you had brought an English mild to oh, yeah. uh, a meeting at, I want to say it was Brickstone or something like that. Yeah. That and sounds right. uh, my wife has talked about that beer and you pretty consistently ever since, you know, and it's like, cause that's not a style that I brew. And yeah. so I'm actually uh, in the market for uh, I'm actually looking at English mild recipes right now. That's, that's true. That's an honest to God story. Really? Um, that I am legitimately looking right now. So I, I just brewed a, uh, a half of bison that I got in the fermenter right now. Good. Next beer is a pale ale uh, from our friends at Sierra Nevada. I'm using their, their recipe. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, since Ken gave it to us and all, I figured why not? Okay. And then, and then the next beer after that, I'm actually eyeing is an English mild, and I've I've pulled together probably six different recipes, and they're all over the place. Like, yeah, I was I was curious to kind of get your take on an English mild. Yeah, let me uh, let me see while we're talking if I can I can I can pull it up because um, I like oh I found it right away. Uh, I brewed it in April of. 2021 does that does that meet up with what you were thinking that seems no later yeah that seems later i would think it was earlier than that only because 2021 we were still in the middle of the pandemic yeah it seems like it was in like 2019 ish yeah i would think yeah um i like it because it had oh here it is uh april of 2020 does that sound right maybe that's too early and that would have been right as the pandemic was hitting. So I have in here an English. Oh, that's an English mild. I labeled it 2.0. So there's another one in here. There you go. But um, let's see. <laughs> well, this, the second one, I threw a bunch of stuff. I have some. Oh, I found some six row for some reason. Threw the flaked oats in it. Half a pound of crystal malt. A quarter pound of chocolate malt. And then quarter pound of special rose. Uh, here's some, some special roast. I think special roast is kind of one of those one of those ingredients that uh, makes makes that particular beer for me. Mm -hmm. But I love the English mild because you know it's not something you find everywhere. For yeah, sure, people don't talk about it, but it's it's one of those things that uh, it's a drinker. You know, it doesn't have, I, I, this one's 6%. Most of them are, that's a little high for, for what I think it should be. But most of it is, uh, it, it's light enough where it doesn't matter what season it is. And mm -hmm. if you're tired of drinking lagers and pale ales, you know, uh, this thing is a, is a nice, easygoing drink that has a little extra taste to it, but it's not heavy. Mm -hmm. So I use nine pounds of Maris Otter quarter pound of crystal 80 quarter pound of chocolate malt and a quarter pound of roasted special roast and okay. then some east kent golding at the 60 and at 25 i threw another ounce of it in and i used english ale from white labs okay yeah, yeah i mean I that, that seems to be the you know people people throw out maris you know like an english pale malt yeah that makes then sense. usually anywhere from usually at least one crystal malt and then usually one at least one roast malt but the yeah. mix is anywhere from like three to as high as i've seen seven different grains which i thought was a little odd for a mild but you know what do i know because i've never brewed one yeah well but you know like when i see like you know it's oh it's a simple beer and it's only like up to four percent and then like i see seven grains in there i'm like that's such a homebrew move. Like, you know, homebrewers <laughs> make it that complicated. Like, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that like a pro brewery is not doing that where, yeah, you, you know, it's, you know, to scale, it's everything's going to be in full sacks or half sacks. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like it just doesn't, be... it, or it's, it's, you know, it's like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. But then yeah. I, I see like, you know, like I said, I could see, you know, three to four grains uh, with a solid British base malt and then, you know, uh, a traditional English hop. So like either like an EKG or like a, a Fuggles, I think was the other one I saw pretty commonly. 
Okay. And then, and then, yeah, like the English alias were all over the board. It was, it was SO4, it was OO2. It was, you know, I mean, like people like very different. I was, I was very surprised with, I saw one that was done with a Kvike East. Oh, sure. You know, the, the Norwegian ones, you know, and I thought that was interesting just to see. And I'm like, I'm sure that was a new one. I mean, two years ago, nobody was using that stuff. And now everybody, because it's so versatile and mm -hmm. easy to store, it seems to be all the rage. Mm -hmm. But that, that O2 is what, what I, I looked back and it's what I was using in all of those. And actually, I used some crystal rye in, in one of them. Okay. And I wrote a note that, that that was the best one so far, that the chocolate rye was a great touch. And it was just a, a quarter quarter pound quarter pound half pound half pound so i don't know i i, I do like rye mm -hmm. i've made some rye beers before um, where it was part of the grain belt and i just seem to like them a lot so yeah it doesn't surprise me i know i have some east uh, i know i have some east kent in the refrigerator and i know i have I think I have some special roast and I know I have some Maris Otter. So I'm like almost there, buddy. Maybe we can, maybe in uh, what, a couple months, June, June, we could, we could both show up with one. Yeah. June, June at the, uh, the sound growler meeting here. So.